Input, input, input. That's what it says, right? Input. And this is how you've done everything in life. Let's say you're a mechanic. How did you get good at becoming a mechanic? Input, 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 right? You studied, you learned, you studied, you learned. How did I become a chiropractor? I studied and studied and studied and learned and went to school and opened books and studied books and studied at night and studied in the morning and studied and didn't sleep and studied and went to labs and went into cadaver labs and looked at body parts. I, I studied, I studied, I studied. That's how I got good at something. What makes you think you're going to get good at being healthy without ever thinking about it? There was a time hundreds of years ago when you didn't have to think about health. You really didn't. You say, well, why? Because 400 years ago, there weren't Twinkies. There weren't McDonald's. There wasn't food in a box, right? There wasn't jobs where you sat in a truck for 12 hours a day, bouncing on your spine. There weren't factory jobs where you twisted one way all the time, day after day. There weren't computers that you sat behind for 10 or 12 hours with your head a certain way, running a mouse, putting stress on your spine and your nerve system, right? Those things didn't exist. People ate food that they grew or that they chased down and shot or trapped or something, right? They didn't have to think about it. What did they drink? Water. Why? There wasn't Pepsi and Coke and iced tea and, right? There was some wine. We've had wine for a long time. Does that make sense? But would you say that now in your current environment that you live in, boy, you got choices out there that really could be detrimental, right? So I understand that. For, for thousands of years, human beings didn't have to sit and think about how am I going to be healthy. But times are different now. You have to. I like the conveniences of this world that we've created. I enjoy them. I enjoy being able to get in a car and not have to run where I want to go. Right? But if I'm not going to move my body because I have a car and I have a dishwasher and I have a washing machine and, you know... I have a toilet on every level of my house and you have to change floors, right? My grandmother at least had to walk outside her house and go somewhere to go to the bathroom, right? Life is different now. And if you're not compensating for that, you're getting sick. Our genes haven't changed over the last hundred years. What has changed over the last hundred years is how we live. What we need to do is change our belief systems and realize if you don't have a belief system that says that every day I'm going to have to make certain decisions, conscious choices on whether or not to be healthy or not. If that's not part of your belief system, that you don't understand that that's going to be necessary, there's going to be problems. There's going to be shortcomings. Does that make sense?